welcome to my show. It's The Little Things, where I take you around my neighborhood and show you all my favorite places. This block holds a very special place in my heart. I love all the people that inhabit it here, and I know nearly all of them. I buy my flowers from that man every Thursday morning. There are so many cute little secret places to check out, so I figured I'd start with my first favorite spot. Here's our little local cafe, Otis. <laughs> this is Otis, my favorite Thai place. I know everybody here. I go here every single day after work, like clockwork. I just have my little quirks like that. <laughs> the same employees work here at the same time, so they always know my order. That makes me so happy. Thanks. <laughs> Here they've got health grade A, my favorite kind of coffee, and they're always open when I need it. Wow, I can't wait to get my food. Oh my god, are you into astrology? I've recently gotten super into it. Like, I can't stop researching about it. Oh, yeah? That's so cool. Uh, what's your sun, moon, and rising? Oh, uh, I don't know, but I'm, like, super scared for the next Mercury retrograde. Yikes, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, do you come here often? Because I come here all the time. And, you know, I just like to get to know people that come here so we can talk about our favorite food and stuff. Actually, can I have your phone number? I know everybody around here, so just so we can text, you know? Hey, uh, uh, how about, uh, what's your Instagram? <gasps> oh my god, totally. I love networking. <laughs> I actually, like, sometimes take pictures, I record some videos. I oh, oh, hi. Oh, yeah. I didn't even, wow, okay. <laughs> it's the little things, that's what it's at, okay? It's the little things? It's okay. the little things. I'm typing it in right now. <laughs> You're it's, so it's, great. Yeah. <laughs> it's the little things. Ah, oh, man. So, hey. yeah, I just got you Converse. Have you been to that tattoo shop nearby? Yeah, I've gotten three from there. Three? Oh my gosh, I love that little tattoo place. I don't have any tattoos, but they know me. I like to go in and just like look at all the you little tattoos. You know Cap on D? Well, not Cap on D, but like I, I heard them talking about her once. So like basically <laughs> I know Cap on D. <laughs> so cool. Ah oh, man, I love this place. Did you recently move here? I've been here for like 10 years. Wow, I've been here for three. <laughs> You'll get to me soon. You'll get to mine. You get to where I am. Yeah, yeah. seven years <laughs> times. <laughs> Yum. What a great afternoon. I love Thai food. It's so cultured here in LA. I really feel like I just flew to Thailand or something, but I get to stay in the comfort of my own neighborhood. It's amazing. It's like, <laughs> Who needs travel when you can just scurry on down your block to the restaurant? <laughs> it's like your own little slice of Thailand. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. <gasps> hey, Richie, how's it going? Your daughter got over that cold yet? It's a bad one. This flu season, gotta stay safe. How's Eric doing? I know he's got really bad allergies. You know, your youngest, you gotta be careful with him. <laughs> Anyways, well, I hope everybody stays well. So nice to run into you, Richie. <laughs> what a great guy. <gasps> OMG, Tonya! Oh is that you? Girl. <gasps> your nails, they look so good. Thank oh my god, you. did you dye your hair? Yes, girl! Thank you, thanks for noticing. Of course, I know I always do, but <laughs> I've been actually doing mine a little bit differently. So I've been curling it under instead of just like letting it go straight. It gives oh. me a really different vibe. Yeah. But like, I like the change, you know? I like change, so. <laughs> But tell me, did you see Tasha's new hair color? Like, not gonna lie, but like her complexion with that tone, it just not really working. Oh, girl, her bad. <laughs> no, I know, don't tell her I said so that. True. So true. So true. So true. <laughs> Anyways, well, it was so nice to talk to you. We have to catch up, of get course. coffee at Otis. Yes, at Otis! Otis. Hey, love it. <laughs> oh Anyways, my god. Yeah. See you later, huh? <laughs> Those boys 
are so silly, always listening to 90s pop. <laughs> Gotta love them. They're big film buffs too. We have wine nights every Friday night together. They know so much about movies, like so much. They all go to school studying film and I don't know how somebody chooses just one interest. I actually did five years of college because the first three years I was undeclared and I finally decided on communications with a minor in linguistics. <laughs> Who would have thought that would have been my choice? Phew. Well, whew, what a long little excursion. But unfortunately, it looks like this show is coming to a close. Whew, what an exhausting day. We did so much, like, so much. Anyways, I can't wait for our next episode. I'll show you a cute little new place. <laughs> I'm exhausted though, if I have to be honest with you. I mean, being that social all the time can really take a tax on someone. Sometimes I feel like I, I, I have to be social, you know, even when I don't want to be. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love people, but sometimes it gets to be a lot. But you know, sometimes it gets tiring always being on. But I will say, I do love doing so much for my little community. But sometimes my favorite part of the day is just winding down to a little show. <laughs> now, what should I watch? Mm. Wow, I am just so torn. Like, do I watch MTV's The Challenge or do I watch a documentary about organic, sustainable vegetable farming in Southern California? Ugh, sometimes I just feel like I'm two different people. <laughs>